Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.17.8.0. This week's update was relatively minor once again, and Nelson has been of course focusing on improving current aspects of the game throughout the past few weeks rather than just adding things on top of things that need improvement. This is very understandable and should definitely be appreciated, so just bear with it. For about two to three weeks, we've got that Hawaii map on its way very soon. In regards to this week's update, there are still additions, and that's what I'm here to show you guys. To start, there's a new item requested by Reddit and added very quickly. It's very, very cool, and that is the earpiece. It's kind of in the same branch as the walkie-talkie. Once again, the walkie-talkie is here uh, to where if you have it equipped, you can talk to anybody in the server who also has a walkie-talkie equipped, regardless of distance, and then they will also be able to communicate to you regardless of distance, as long as you are holding the walkie-talkie, though. So if you're sitting here sniping and you want to communicate with your teammates, you would have to equip the walkie-talkie to even hear them. The earpiece is what allows you to hear communication across the radio without having the walkie-talkie equipped. So if I have this grizzly equipped and I'm up in the hills sniping somebody and somebody informs me that something is happening back at base or something you gotta you gotta come back uh if you did not have that walkie talkie equipped you would completely miss that you, you wouldn't hear what they're saying but now you have this earpiece you'd be able to hear them through the earpiece and then when you want to talk to them you equip your walkie talkie you talk to them yada yada okay i'll be back at base as soon as possible <laughs> over okay and then you go and you get in your grizzly and you run over there and you save the day yeah that's the earpiece it's really cool it's really simple you'd be able to find it in the same locations that you find the walkie talkie it does have durability to it, but I'm not sure if it actually does anything. I think just all masks have durability to them, so if you get shot in the head, its durability is probably going to go down for the earpiece. Here's what it looks like on the side of your head. Forgot to show you guys that. We don't actually have ears in unturned, so you kind of just have to imagine like there's an ear there. It's pretty funny. Uh, it is a mask, so you won't be able to wear a balaclava and an earpiece at the same time, but you will be able to wear a helmet and an earpiece at the same time, which is probably the most important aspect. Now, also this week, Nelson updated to Unity 5.5.0F3. Very weird update numbers. Not even a number. It's got letters in there. Anyway, it's very weird. One of the major changes that we'll be able to see as a result of this update to the newest version of Unity, one of which you're going to see less shadow flickering in large size maps, like huge size maps. Uh, where you're looking at the distance, you'll notice that, sh that the uh, shadows are flickering. That will happen less often. And then also, as a more noticeable improvement or a bug fix that's kind of been an issue with the previous versions of Unity, underwater or transparency in underwater stuff. Uh, this was most noticeable when windows were added, and if you had an underwater base, you'd be able to see the windows easily through the water, and that's because Unity thought for some reason that the water was behind the window. And so as a result, it rendered the window in front of the water, which is what allowed you to see the windows. Now that's been completely fixed, you'll notice that the one-way window here is working completely fine and as it should be, even underwater and above water. So that's kind of the two things you'll be able to notice as a result of the new Unity update. It's pretty cool. Now another bug fix or a tweak or something is this thing that's been happening since the beginning of Unturned. I think I've only noticed it recently since people brought it up, but it has been definitely strange. It's this weird thing with scopes and semi-automatic weapons. So, for example, here's this grizzly. Keep in mind the recoil of when I shoot this thing without a scope. It's reasonable for a 50 caliber sniper rifle shooting a 50 BMG round. It's a lot of recoil. Look at that. So, if I'm trying to shoot somebody there at the farmhouse, I'm definitely gonna have to compensate for that recoil. The thing is, once you put a scope on it, all that recoil just goes away. Why does it do that? And this is after the change. So if, if I'm trying to shoot this zombie here, I can easily lay off shots that quickly. Just like that, of a 50 caliber sniper rifle, and it just doesn't make sense how a scope reduces recoil. Uh, before, it actually had just like zero recoil at all. Like, none. When you put a scope on a semi-automatic weapon. Whether it was a sports shot or a saber tooth or a grizzly, it had no recoil. This week, Nelson said that he tweaked the scoped recoil reduction lower, but I mean, it's... I, I don't know about you, but uh, it needs to be a lot lower. A, a lot. Actually, I don't think it should reduce recoil at all, but that's my opinion. You guys should vote on the poll card in the top right. Why isn't he dying, baby? Why are you in a trash can? Wait a second. Is he dead? Oh my god. What the? 
Now regarding Battle Eye, this week we are up to 8,600 banned cheaters. Awesome, awesome news. It is getting less and less every week. Now this time it's only 1,200 more than last week, so it looks like the cheaters are starting to give up. Awesome news. Glad to see that Battle Eye is working as well as it is. Also, regarding Battle Eye, this is awesome. Whenever a cheating player in your server is banned by Battle Eye, it will now broadcast that in the chat. Uh, there was one time where I was playing CSGO and somebody actually in the server got VAC banned. They did, it was it was hilarious because it broadcasted it in the chat. They were kicked out of the game. It said in the game chat that they were VAC banned from secure server and it was hilarious. And now kind of that same thing happens in Unturned to where if you are playing the game and somebody in your server gets kicked out permanently, banned from the game by Battle Eye, it will say that in the chat for everyone to see and laugh at them. And that's going to be awesome. Now that does pretty much wrap up all of the changes in this week's update, or at least the ones that we can see in game. Now Nelson has added some new features into the dev kit editor now they are very very basic and i don't really know how to use the dang thing quite yet but that's why i'm going to save it for later for those of you who are interested you can check it out by going into any kind of map and clicking the dev kit editor version of it and you'll be able to see some of the new changes that you can access by pressing the tilde key or whatever you paired your console command to i'd also like to give a massive congratulations to ezekiel from ohio for winning the custom unturned computer that was drawn yesterday i'm going to try and get that sent out as soon as i finish this video but i've come to realize that there are a lot of people that watch my videos that are not from usa and canada that were unfortunately not able to take part in the giveaway because of shipping costs so as a result i'm going to do a worldwide giveaway to compensate for that of hundred dollars worth of steam gift cards because those can actually be transferred through email rather than shipping of physical objects so if that interests you guys if you guys would like to enter into that giveaway it's going to be available to any person anywhere in the world uh, you can enter into that in the description down below now the giveaway is going to last up until christmas eve so that i can draw the winner on christmas day and give it as a christmas gift it's going to be pretty cool now also, today's outro music is made by a friend of mine from school. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to support him on SoundCloud and on YouTube. It would make his day. Go surprise him. Go on his YouTube channel or SoundCloud and go leave him a nice comment. Also check out some of his other music that's available. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big bull is out. <laughs>